Welcome to another video. In this video I'm going to show you how to download and install SKSE 64 in 2020 using Windows 10. So all we have to do is go to our web browser. In this case I use Chrome. You can use anyone. The next step will be to go to this URL skse.silverlock.org. Once you go there you will see a page like this. Now if you have Skyrim Classic that's the original one, download this file. If you have Skyrim Special Edition, download this file. And if you have Skyrim in VR, download that file. Okay? Now, before you download anything, you must have 7-zip. There is a link here. You can see it on the screen. Once you click that link, this will open. If you have Windows 10 or higher or 64-bit version, you will download this one. We are not downloading the alpha. We are downloading just the normal original files for 7-zip, the normal program. Once that downloads, in the bottom left hand corner of your screen, it will pop up saying that it's downloaded. You will click that and install it. Follow the setup wizard. Once it's installed, you are done. So for this video, we are going to be using the Skyrim Special Edition version. So we're going to click the link, and now you can select where you want it to download. It doesn't matter where it downloads. For ease of access, I'm just going to put it here on my SSD. And now you can see at the bottom left hand corner, it is there. I'm going to right click and click show in folder. This makes it easier. I can minimize that now and I can close off my browser. I don't need the internet anymore. Now that this is done, I'm gonna put the file over here and you can see we have an internet symbol. What we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna right click and we're gonna use 7-zip. You can see it's now there because we've downloaded it. And we're gonna extract here, extract here. Once you extract here, it will pop up Sorry, I already have it downloaded. I'm not going to re-download it. So once you extract it here, it will look like this. SKSE64 with a normal folder symbol beside it. That is the biggest part, just to have it looking like this. Once that's done, you can delete the original download because you don't need it anymore. And now you can open up your Skyrim SE. But we're going to open it in a new window just so it makes it easier to copy and paste stuff. Because that's how we're going to do this. We're not going to use launchers or vortex or nexus mods we're just going to have it in the game because i have no reason to ever remove it from the game and i find this very easy next step find skyrim in my case it is in my ssd so you just have to find steam go down to steam apps and then go to common when this will be the same on every pc it'll be steam steam apps common that's where your game will be hold on i just want to delete these really quickly these are all shortcuts that i want to take out I already had them installed. So next step, open up Skyrim, in this case Skyrim Special Edition, and you'll see this. Now the difference between my one and your one is you can see I already have the SKSE folders installed, or files installed, sorry. You can see they're both identical. All you have to do is in the SKSE part, highlight them, right click them, and click copy. Go back to your Skyrim bit, right click, and hit paste. Now, I don't want to replace the files because as you can see, I literally already have them. They're identical to what is on the right hand side of the screen. They are now in Skyrim. You now have SKSE in Skyrim. The next step is to make it launch. All you have to do is go to your SKSE file, copy the data folder, and paste it into the Skyrim folder. Now, again, I already have it, so I'm not going to replace it all and redo it. And that is it. That is the last step. You now have SKSE. Now, sometimes when you download, when you go to transfer the data folder to your Skyrim folder, it might ask you, do you want it to overwrite original data files or overwrite previous data files? Just select yes or OK. We are overwriting some files because we're going to be using SKSE to launch the game going forward because we're going to be using it for mods. Now, next step. This original Bethesda launcher will not work with SKSE if we do it this way. Which is why I want to do it. If you're hell bent on having that symbol on your screen, you can go through the effort of downloading into a Nexus mod and it's pointless. So that won't be used anymore. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go back to Skyrim. So in my case, my SSD. I'm going to go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and Skyrim Special Edition. Now, we're going to open up Skyrim Special Edition and we're going to go down to SKSE Loader. This is the launcher for SKSE. We're going to create a shortcut. You cannot just drag this onto your desktop. You must create a shortcut, otherwise it will not work. So create a shortcut by right clicking it and you will now see we have SKSE64 shortcut. Drag that shortcut onto your desktop and close. 
and then we'll put that back where you no, we won't because Windows. So we'll put it here. And now instead of using the Bethesda symbol, we will just double click this symbol instead. It will still launch the same way, sound the same way, look the same way, except SKSE will run smoothly with it. So you can see now we've launched it. Bethesda Game Studios. You can see Steam in the bottom right hand corner. So our Steam overlay is still working. Any overlays we have will still work. You can see we have our normal menu. Not everything is just the exact same. We're just launching it through SKSE. Okay, we can quit. And this should bring us back to our desktop and everything is still normal. And will it go in? Yeah, kind of. Okay, wh whatever. Anyway, so I don't need this anymore. No, go away. So I'm going to get rid of that off my desktop. I don't need the original uh, Bethesda launcher. I'm going to launch this again and I'm going to load into a game just to show you how SKC works and how you can make sure that it is working. So one of the things is people download uh, SKSE plugin from Nexus Mods to the Vortex Manager or Nexus Mod Manager. And what will happen is this will still kind of work, your Sky UI, that mod, but it will be very laggy and slow and some features of it won't work correctly. So the easiest way of testing it is to download Sky UI because everyone should be using it, it's great. I'll show you now. So you can see we're normal, everything's good. We go items and you can see we have this instead. And you can see everything is butter smooth. We're switching through icons, no problem at all. Equip, unequip, make favorites, whatever we want to do. Um, we have them all here. So you can see there's our favorites. Uh, we also have our quick menu. Everything is working fast and effective, no problems. And our potions at the bottom. And that is it. That's all you have to do for SKSE. Really quick video, really quick tutorial. I tried to make this as clear as I could. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. If you did not enjoy it, drop a dislike. And think about subscribing if you enjoy this type of content as I upload daily. Enjoy your day and stay safe and I'll catch you at the next video.